To install the cropping tool, click on the download icon. And then in your downloads folder you should find the install file. And if you double click on that, that should launch the installation. If this for some reason doesn't work, you can always go into File, Scripts, Browse in Photoshop. And select this file. And then you say yes, and then you have a blue button here called DKJ Crop. So let's see how it works. You click on this, and you have different tabs here. The first three are for Daniel's print sizes, and these are for uh, other everyday use prints. But let's look at these three as these will help you in uh, supplying prints to Daniel. So for instance, a fine art print, 15 by 20, just click on that. Align your uh, crop tool and just hit enter. And you will notice if you have this set to color profile, uh, it's automatically Adobe RGB. It's 15.3 by 20.3 because 3 millimeter is added and it's 300 dpi. So let's go back and look at another example. Let's say we want a canvas with a thin frame, 60 millimeter frame. Um, the significance of this red purple number is that the photo needs to be upressed. So this example, my photo isn't really large enough to do a 40 by 50. You can let Photoshop interpolate that, uh, which is probably fine. Um, so let's do a 40 by 50. Let's move it along. The beauty of this is that in Photoshop, if in this case I have the background set to black, I can crop outside the window if I want um, to add to the uh, canvas area. So uh, hit enter and now you'll see where the uh, wrapping will occur. This part of the photo will be wrapped around the frame. So what do you do this again uh, to avoid having her hand uh, wrapped around the frame? That's up to you. So it's a useful tool to show what's going to happen. Um, for these other tabs, you can uh, let me go back first. For these other tabs, you can change the um, color profile that you want or the DPI if you want. I know many Epson users have 360 DPI, so they can, for instance, have a 15 by 20 crop. Let's make this larger. There, and this should be a 15 by 20, uh, 360 DPI. SRGB. Okay, so it's a simple tool really, but quite useful if you uh, don't remember all the settings and uh, how much to add to the prints.